Morning everyone, Jer here on the 17th with your Leeds news. There's a bit, there's a little bit floating around this morning. So, some updates on players linked with Leeds over the last couple of days, an actual underage signing, some detail on the Amazon Prime documentary, and we'll just get into this and crack on then, will we? So, first things first, Ben Burton Diaz, who we have been linked with very heavily over the past week. Nice and France have said to have bid 10 million for the Blackburn striker. Blackburn are holding out for a fee of around 25 million. Again, we said yesterday, I'm not sure if he's worth 25 million, but that's the market you're in. Leeds are said to be monitoring the situation, but currently not involved. We know that Diaz is not Leeds' number one target. There's also been this information that's come out yesterday from, from certain scouts that said that the, a lot of Premier, Cl Premier League clubs have watched Burton Diaz, but haven't gone in and made a bid afterwards. So if a lot of clubs are looking at a player and not signing him, you, you've got to ask yourself, well, well why is that? Um... What came out yesterday was that apparently his hold-up play and his positional sense on and off the ball are the reasons for why a lot of Premier League clubs aren't 100% convinced of goals are one thing, but the all-around connection to the rest of the play is important as well. And if you can't do that, clubs aren't necessarily interested. But you've got to look at this and say, well, he scored a lot of goals in the Championship. Why is nobody in the Premier League taking a chance on him yet? Even the teams that just come up past Blackburn into the Premier League. So that's going to be an interesting one. Um, Nice would have been at the moment. Leeds monitoring the situation. We'll see what happens over the next week. Ismail Assar has been strongly linked with Leeds again over the last couple of weeks. And it is said as of this morning that Crystal Palace are very interested in the player. And that Patrick Vieira has actually spoken to Sar Again, Leeds are said to be keeping an eye on the situation. But as of Phil Hay, he reckons there's no interest from Leeds in Ismail Assar at all. None. But depending on where you read it, you could see a different story. But I would go with Phil. Um, Wilfred Nyonto, who again has been super, super linked with Leeds over the last two weeks. Uh, Crea Della Sport are claiming that Leeds are set to beat Feyenoord to the signing of the young Italian winger slash striker. Fabrizio Romano this week on the Q Galazzo YouTube channel said that one more name that he wanted to mention was Wilfred Nyonto. Leeds Reckon Victor Orta's final surprise in this transfer window will be the signing of Wilfred Nyonto. Um, we've seen Victor Orta do this before. We, we've got a group of people on Twitter right now panicking and tweeting leads every single day saying, sign a left back, sign a striker, sign a left back, sign a striker. Um, someone saying yesterday that Orta's possibly gone on holidays. We heard that before when they signed Dan James. We heard that before when they signed Rafinha on the last day of transfer window. The window is not dead until it's closed. There's still time. Leeds have made late moves in the past, especially with Orta has tried to get deals in. You're in that weird place in the transfer window now where there's only there's less than two weeks left. Clubs can start to demand what they want if you really want their player. Fees will start to go up. Players will start to become available. Agents will start contacting clubs and saying, my player is now available to come and play. He wasn't a couple of weeks ago, but he's not happy with the situation. Also, you got to bear in mind, there are a lot of players sitting on the bench right now who will want to get into the playing squads before the World Cup. That will impact things the closer we get to deadline day. So I wouldn't panic just yet. I'd hold our, hold our powder, as they say, and just wait and see. Um, on incomings, though, before we get to the rumour stuff, which is coming in a second, all right? On incomings, Leeds have signed uh, Welsh under-16 under player, Charlie Crew from Cardiff. The midfielder, uh, capped at underage level for Wales, has signed for Legion United under-18 side and has signed a two-year deal at the club. So, welcome to Leeds, Charlie, and best of luck with your development. Hope it goes well for you. Um, on the Amazon Prime documentary, stuff that came out yesterday as well, the Amazon Prime documentary for Leeds United, which will track the academy prospects' pro progress and journey into the Leeds United first team, uh, was filmed over the course of 2022. Uh, and will go onto Amazon Prime on the UK and Ireland on September the 3rd. That's going to be interesting to see. Leeds have got really positive feedback from the previous documentary, the two seasons of Take Us Home. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. This one's going to be narrated by Vinnie Jones this time. And as I said, it will, it will follow the, the progress of the academy prospects into the Leeds United Senior Squad. So that's going to be super interested. Right, let's get some rumour stuff that's definitely not going to happen. But we'll see what happens. You'll notice this is going to happen when I say who's reporting this. HITC Sport are reporting that, according to Dean Jones, Leeds are considering a move for Callum hudson Adoy at Chelsea. hudson Adoy is keen to get into the England squad for the World Cup and hasn't had any minutes yet in the Premier League so far this season. Um, you, that just, you know he's going to play and score against Leeds then, don't you? So uh, hudson Adoy currently on 120000 a week. I don't know if Leeds are in the market to bid for a player that has that kind of wage demand. Um, that is quite a large amount of weekly money. and I'm not sure if we're there at that level with that kind of wages. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I'll never say I'm right. I don't know this stuff. I'm just, you know, picking it out with the internet. 
Um, but it's going to be an interesting one. So Hudson and Dye links tomorrow. Also at Chelsea, Christian Pudisic has been linked this morning with a move to Leeds. Newcastle, of course, are very strongly linked with the player. Leeds are having a look. Again, another player that wants to be playing games as he approaches the World Cup this year. Um, a lot of people would like Christian Pulisic. I personally think he's a great sign and he can play up front and he can play wide. He's a he's a he's a tricky, tricky player with, with a lot of different aspects to his game. Um again, I, I just don't see it happen. I think there's there's agents linking players with other clubs now to try and force moves out, but we'll see what happens there. Um interesting one. And to finish today, happy birthday, Charlie Creswell. Turns twenty today. Charlie on Long Millwall didn't have the best of days yesterday. I said it on Twitter yesterday. People need to relax with the U players. He scores two goals in his first game when he goes out on loan. People are screaming for him to come back and say he made a mistake. Hasn't made a mistake for a goal a couple weeks ago. Didn't have a great game yesterday. This is all part of his development. This is why players go out on loan. They go out to make mistakes like this so they can learn from them and get better. You don't want them to learn, make those mistakes in the Premier League. So I wouldn't worry about Charlie Creswell. I think he's going to be a smashing centre half. I still think he's going to be one of our, our, our number one centre halves in the next two or three years. Um, we'll wait and see what happens with him. But... um. Yeah, people just need to give this this kid a break, you know. Stop putting pressure on him to come back and play for Leeds and be number one centre half and stop putting pressure on him to have amazing games. Let him go and play football. Let him get this the, the learning under his belt that he needs to get and let him come back to Leeds. I think everyone just needs to calm down and leave the kid alone. It's it just you know, he's twenty years of age. You forget that he's played in the Premier League at nineteen. Big guy, which tends to trick people in thinking he's an older older kid. He's he's not. He needs to be given a break. So happy birthday, Charlie. I hope you have a good day. I am and ignore the nonsense on Twitter. All right. Folks, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.